humanoid AI robots are leveling up at a speed that's almost hard to keep up with. And this week's updates? They'll make you question whether humans are still leading or already falling behind. From an AGI-powered robot clearing human-level tests with ease to new breakthroughs in robotics labs around the world, these machines aren't just catching up, they're starting to break into territory we never thought possible. What's coming next is exciting, a little terrifying, and absolutely worth paying attention to. Let's get into it. Agibot has officially launched its full product line on JD.com and its own online mall, marking a major step toward accelerating the commercialization of humanoid robots in China. This move signals Agibot's intent to compete head-to-head -head with Unitree, which has already made waves with its affordable G1 and G1 EDU humanoids. Among the lineup, the Lynxi X2 Youth Edition stands out as the most budget-friendly option, priced at Y Lusa $98,000. Meanwhile, the Expedition A2 Youth Edition is currently available at a promotional price of Y Tsai $168,000. The pricing strategy mirrors Unitree's approach, with the G1 listed at Y Yaoji and the G1 EDU at Y Uli £169,000, creating a clear showdown in the mid tier humanoid robot market. This launch highlights a significant trend. Humanoid robots are no longer futuristic concepts reserved for labs. They're entering consumer-facing channels at increasingly competitive prices. By leveraging JD.com, one of China's biggest e-commerce platforms, Agibot ensures mass visibility and accessibility for its robots. With competition heating up between Agibot and Unitree, the Chinese humanoid market is rapidly shaping into one of the most aggressive battlegrounds for affordable, real-world ready robots. This could mark the beginning of a true consumer robotics revolution. South Korean startup WBU iRobotics has unveiled Alex, a new general-purpose humanoid robot designed with advanced manipulation capabilities. What sets Alex apart is its combination of low-friction back-drivable arms and highly dexterous human-like hands, pushing the boundaries of what humanoid robots can achieve in real-world tasks. Each hand is engineered with 15 degrees of freedom, enabling remarkably precise and natural movement. This design not only allows Alex to handle delicate, fine motor tasks, but also to perform heavy-duty work. The robot can lift over 30 kilograms and generate more than 40 newtons of force at the fingertips, giving it an impressive range from strength to precision. A demonstration of Alex performing a precision task has already showcased its potential for industries that require both accuracy and adaptability. Interestingly, Dadawi Robotics did not begin as a humanoid robotics company. The startup was originally founded to develop wearable robots for walking assistance, focusing on rehabilitation and mobility support. With Alex, We Robotics is stepping into the competitive humanoid space, leveraging its expertise in wearable robotics to create a machine capable of working alongside humans. This debut marks South Korea's growing presence in humanoid robotics, adding another strong contender to the global race. The world has just witnessed something historic. The first ever humanoid Olympics, officially called the World Humanoid Robot Games 2025, held in Beijing, this wasn't a lab demo, a startup teaser video, or a sci-fi movie. It was real. Over 500 humanoid robots from 280 teams across 16 different nations competed in events ranging from athletic contests like sprinting and soccer to practical tasks like medicine sorting and cleaning. The result? A mix of jaw-dropping displays of agility and intelligence, plenty of awkward tumbles, and moments that were as entertaining as they were revealing. For the first time, the public got a front row seat to where humanoid robotics really stands. And the picture was both inspiring and humbling. Robotics designer Motoyasu Tanaka has unveiled his latest creation, Robotic Snakes, a project that blends his personal passion for the reptiles with his engineering expertise. Unlike traditional wheeled or legged robots, these snake-inspired machines are designed for movement through narrow, complex spaces that are otherwise inaccessible to humans or conventional robots. The robotic snakes use flexible, segmented bodies that allow them to slither, coil, and maneuver in ways that mimic their biological counterparts. This unique form factor gives them an edge in environments such as collapsed buildings, underground tunnels, or pipe systems where search and rescue teams or inspectors often face significant risks. 
By slipping into these confined areas, the robots could help locate survivors after disasters, assess structural damage, or carry sensors into hazardous conditions without endangering human lives. Beyond emergency response, Tanaka envisions applications in industrial inspection, environmental monitoring, and exploration. The adaptability of snake locomotion makes the robots particularly suited for environments where agility is more important than speed. By channeling his fascination with snakes into robotics, Tanaka has opened up new possibilities for biomimetic engineering. His robotic snakes demonstrate how inspiration from nature can solve practical challenges while expanding the boundaries of robot design. Researchers at Beihang University in Beijing have unveiled a groundbreaking two centimeter long microbot that mimics the movement of an insect and achieves ultra fast untethered running speeds. Detailed in the journal Nature Communications under the study, a wireless controlled robotic insect with ultra fast untethered running speeds, the development represents a major leap in micro robotics. What makes this creation so remarkable is its combination of size, speed, and wireless control. Despite being only a couple of centimeters long, the robot can sprint with impressive agility without being tethered to external equipment. This opens the door to practical applications where miniature mobile machines can go where humans or larger robots cannot. Potential uses include emergency rescue scenarios, where the microbot could crawl through rubble to search for survivors, or in mechanical inspections, navigating tight or hazardous spaces inside machinery to detect faults before they become critical. Its insect-inspired design not only makes it stable, but also energy efficient, an important factor for future scaling and deployment. This achievement showcases how robotics is increasingly shrinking in size while expanding in capability, bringing us closer to a future where tiny machines could assist in life-saving operations or industrial safety with unmatched speed and precision. Robots took center stage in Beijing on August 14, 2025, as a humanoid robot band from Hefei delivered a live performance at the World Humanoid Robot Games. The spectacle wasn't just about music, it was a showcase of how far AI-driven creativity has come. These humanoid robots didn't simply play pre-programmed tracks, they performed solos, harmonized with one another in real time, and adapted their music dynamically, just like human musicians would in a live jam session. Powered by advanced AI models, the band demonstrated the ability to recognize rhythm, adjust to tempo changes, and coordinate seamlessly across instruments. This made the performance feel less like a robotic routine and more like an authentic concert experience. Spectators were stunned by the blend of technology and artistry, with the robots proving they could not only mimic human actions, but also generate expressive, emotionally engaging performances. The event highlighted a new frontier where robotics and the arts intersect, suggesting future possibilities of robot-assisted entertainment, education, and interactive performance. Whether it's collaborating with human musicians, composing original pieces, or even leading their own concerts, humanoid robot bands could soon become a regular part of our cultural landscape. The 100-meter final at the World Humanoid Robot Games turned into one of the most talked-about moments of the entire competition. The race featured some of the fastest humanoids yet, but the real story was how the rules rewarded autonomy over sheer speed. The Tiangong robot, developed by a state-backed innovation center in Beijing, crossed the finish line in third place. However, because it ran the race fully autonomously, its time was given a 0.8 multiplier, vaulting it past the competition and securing the gold medal. This adjustment highlighted the event's emphasis on rewarding advanced AI control and real-world autonomy, rather than just mechanical speed. Meanwhile, Unitree's humanoid robot, which has been attracting global attention for its rapid progress, technically finished first with a time of 22.08 seconds. But since it competed under remote operation, it only qualified for silver. The contrast between Unitree's speed and Tiangong's independence illustrated the two diverging paths humanoid robotics are taking, one prioritizing performance under human oversight and the other pushing for self-sufficient intelligence. The outcome made clear that in this new era of humanoid competitions, true autonomy may prove even more valuable than raw speed. The 100-meter obstacle course at the World Humanoid Robot Games proved to be a showcase of balance, agility, and control and Unitree completely dominated the event. In a stunning display, 
The company's robots took all three medals, cementing their position as leaders in real-world humanoid mobility. Unlike the flat 100-meter sprint, this course was designed to mimic real-world environments, forcing robots to climb stairs, cross uneven terrain, and navigate barriers that tested both hardware stability and software intelligence. Success required far more than raw speed. It demanded precise locomotion, advanced perception, and quick adaptation to changing ground conditions. The spotlight was firmly on the Unitree G1, a humanoid already known for its robust control systems and ability to handle unpredictable challenges. As expected, it delivered exceptional performance, moving with stability and coordination where many robots from other teams struggled. Unitree's mastery of dynamic balance allowed its humanoids to complete the course efficiently, demonstrating why they're seen as some of the most practical humanoid platforms currently in development. This sweep not only highlighted Unitree's technical edge, but also underscored the growing importance of obstacle-based trials, which bring humanoids closer to being useful in real-world environments. Musk Robotics Space Pro Gen 2 Humanoid has entered trial operations at Emirates Forsatec Airport, marking a significant step in deploying autonomous robots for large-scale passenger services. The robot is currently assisting with luggage handling, operating fully autonomously without the need for human oversight. Its capabilities are powered by Fusion Max Omni VLA, Musk's advanced vision language action system that allows robots to understand complex tasks and adapt to dynamic environments in real time. At the airport, Space Pro Gen 2 is demonstrating its ability to identify, pick up, and transport passenger luggage with precision and reliability. This trial highlights how humanoid robots could help streamline one of the busiest and most labor-intensive aspects of air travel, baggage management. Beyond airports, Musk Robotics envisions the Space Pro Gen 2 taking on similar roles in warehouse logistics and hotel luggage handling. Industries where efficiency, consistency, and round-the-clock operation are highly valued. By focusing on both autonomy and adaptability, the Space Pro Gen 2 represents a shift toward humanoids as versatile service workers in real-world infrastructure. If successful, this deployment could pave the way for broader adoption of humanoid robots in global travel hubs and hospitality sectors. South Africa's first humanoid robot, George, has been unveiled by the Faculty of Engineering at Stellenbosch University, marking a historic milestone for the country's robotics research. George represents South Africa's entry into the fast-growing humanoid race, combining advanced motion tracking, gesture control, and conversational AI into a single platform. Currently in its torso prototype stage, George already demonstrates impressive abilities. It can track human movements in real time, mimic gestures such as a thumbs up, and engage people in natural conversation, making interactions feel intuitive and human-like. These functions highlight the team's focus on social and assistive applications, where humanoid robots can support education, healthcare, and public engagement. What makes George especially exciting is the roadmap ahead. The Stellenbosch team has confirmed that the robot will soon progress to a walking version, opening the door to mobility-based research and real-world trials. This step will transform George from a demonstration platform into a fully capable humanoid, able to move, interact, and eventually perform tasks in physical environments. George's debut not only showcases South African innovation, but also places the country on the global robotics map, signaling its ambition to play a role in shaping the future of humanoid development. A new humanoid robot named K-Bot has been introduced with the ability to perform medical consultations, opening up a promising new frontier in healthcare robotics. Designed to interact naturally with patients, K-Bot can ask questions, record symptoms, and provide preliminary assessments helping to alleviate pressure on doctors who are often overwhelmed by high patient volumes. What makes KBOT especially significant is its potential role as a frontline assistant in clinics and hospitals. By handling routine consultations, it can free up human doctors to focus on more complex cases, improving efficiency across healthcare systems. The humanoid's natural conversation capabilities allow it to put patients at ease, while its humanoid form helps foster a sense of familiarity and trust during interactions. While KBOT is not intended to replace doctors, it represents a shift toward collaborative healthcare, where robots handle repetitive or time-consuming tasks. 
Beyond consultations, such technology could eventually expand into patient monitoring, rehabilitation guidance, or even remote healthcare delivery. KBOT's debut highlights how humanoid robots are moving beyond industrial and service roles into critical human-centered sectors like medicine. If developed further, it could become a valuable tool in addressing global healthcare challenges. Unitree has just released a preprint tech report and open source code for its cutting edge Beyond Mimic system, developed for the G1 humanoid robot. The technology is designed to push motion tracking to an entirely new level, capturing the smoothness and agility of human movement and bringing it into the real world of robotics. Beyond Mimic allows the G1 to learn directly from human motion data, translating everything from running and jumping to spinning, dodging obstacles, and complex navigation into fluid, natural actions. Unlike traditional motion control systems that often result in stiff or mechanical movements, Beyond Mimic produces motion that feels lifelike and dynamic, narrowing the gap between human and humanoid agility. The release of both the report and the open source code signals Unitree's commitment to advancing humanoid robotics, not just within its own labs, but across the broader research community. By opening access, the company invites developers and researchers worldwide to build upon Beyond Mimic, experiment with new locomotion strategies, and accelerate the development of robots that can move in human environments with unmatched precision and adaptability. This breakthrough puts Unitree at the forefront of embodied AI, merging human motion intelligence with robotic hardware to create truly capable humanoids. Daxo Robotics has unveiled a groundbreaking tendon-driven flexible hand that redefines dexterity in humanoid robotics. Each hand is powered by an astonishing 108 motors, providing 108 actively controlled degrees of freedom, along with virtually infinite passive DUF. This level of complexity enables movements and manipulations that are far closer to the human hand than most robotic designs to date. What sets this hand apart is its multi-tendon actuation system. Instead of relying on a single actuator per joint, each joint is controlled by multiple tendons, creating redundancy that allows for extremely fine-tuned motion and resilience against mechanical limitations. This setup gives the hand remarkable versatility, enabling it to adapt to different objects with precision while maintaining natural and smooth movements. Equally important is its ability to deliver precise force feedback, a critical capability for delicate manipulation tasks. From handling fragile objects to applying the right grip strength for heavier items, the tendon-driven architecture provides the nuanced control required for real-world use. With this design, Daxo Robotics is pushing the frontier of robotic manipulation, offering a platform that could transform humanoid capabilities in fields ranging from industrial automation to healthcare and service robotics. Congratulations are in order for Unix AI. Their self-developed Wanda humanoid robots built in Suzhou Industrial Park, Sipi, made history at the recent World Humanoid Robot Games by taking home both gold and silver medals in the hotel cleaning category, with perfect scores. What set Wanda apart wasn't just technical execution, but the depth of intelligence it demonstrated in real-world hospitality scenarios. During the competition, the robots handled everything from simulated hotel greetings to complex cleaning tasks, all while navigating dynamic obstacles. They showcased advanced capabilities in environmental sensing, path planning, and precise action execution, proving that Wanda is more than just a cleaner. It's a multitasking service robot designed to function in unpredictable human environments. The win is also a huge milestone for Unix AI, underscoring China's rapid progress in humanoid robotics and its focus on practical applications. Hospitality robots are emerging as a key frontier where adaptability, efficiency, and human-like interaction are essential. With Wanda's success, it's clear that service industries may soon rely on humanoid robots, not just for repetitive chores, but also for intelligent customer-facing roles. This achievement pushes the boundaries of what's possible in everyday robotic assistance. That wraps up this week's AI robot update. And honestly, every week feels more like science fiction turning into reality. With robots evolving faster than ever, the line between human and machine is starting to blur. We'll be tracking every mind-blowing moment, so make sure you're following along. Trust me, you do not want to miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.